Hello and welcome to this evening of special music presented by the Church of the Redeemer in Bethesda, Maryland and by our wonderful guests, Cassia Music. Music at Redeemer is a program of the church and this season featured Cassia Music as the ensemble in residence. speaking to you as the chair of the music committee and with special recognition to Jeffrey Silver, our director of music ministries for curating a wonderful series that ran for 10 concerts until we were forced to curtail for reasons that you know well enough, the pandemic. But thanks to the creativity and technical savvy of our guest artists and Jeffrey Silver, we're able to bring you this performance tonight. Cassia Music is a unique organization based in Washington, D.C., dedicated to new music with a traditional twist. They presented for us three of the four concerts they were supposed to in our beautiful uh, acoustical space, and their programming showed their versatility because they are not only wonderful musicians, but two of them are first-rate composers. They looked at music from the Baroque to the classical to the Romantic periods and included in the work and in their concerts some original compositions and you'll hear that tonight. So we bring that to you with our thanks for tuning in and for our wishes that we will get together soon together in a place where we can mingle and listen to the glorious music of Cassia, and other organizations. So enjoy tonight. Thank you for listening. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, I hope this is working. Thanks for joining us this evening. I am Sam, pianist and composer in Casio Music. I'll be starting off the show. Before I start, I want to give a big thank you to the Church of the Redeemer and Music at Redeemer for helping to make this happen tonight back in a different age. Uh, today was supposed to be the fourth and last concert in our season with Music at Redeemer, and they decided to honor their commitment and pay us for this concert, even though they're not making back uh, anything in ticket sales as usual. And they've generally been really great partners this whole season and kind of looking ahead to the nebulous future as well. Um, so I want to bring your attention to the donate button on the church website and Music at Redeemer websites, uh, redeemerbethesda.org or musicatredeemer.org. And I hope you'll consider supporting them, which in turn supports us. Uh, and we also want to encourage you, if you're on YouTube, to subscribe to Music at Redeemer's YouTube channel and ours as well at Kasi Music. 
uh, these things really help us, especially as we kind of continue this transition uh, over to a more digital artistic landscape, which, you know, we don't know how long it's going to last. Um, okay, so this evening you'll hear not quite a normal Casio concert, but pretty close. Uh, we have pieces by me and Bernard, uh, two composers in the group. We have two war horses in Bach and Prokofiev, and two composers that you've probably never heard of, um, besides me and Bernard, <laughs> that is. Uh, I'll let Lauren and Suzanne introduce them. So we'll each be streaming from our own homes, and then we have two pre-recorded pieces that we put together uh, with the full group. I very recently wrote my first piece for the whole group to play together apart, uh, which is exciting for me. Uh, not the circumstances I imagine that happening, but I'm excited to premiere it in this very non-traditional format. And then you'll hear a movement from one of Bernard's uh, pieces for the whole group as the grand finale. So. First up, here is two pieces uh, that I wrote while in this lockdown mode over um, over the past year. I've really gotten into music for piano one hand, which I like to say really belongs in different category from two hand piano music. It's really almost like writing for a different instrument and I think it's pretty cool. So uh, this first piece you'll hear is my sixth piece for the left hand alone. And then after that, I'll play a piece that is uh, a bit more reflective of the tragic and disorienting time we find ourselves in. It was a commission by a friend and supporter named Brian Samuel. So uh, thank you again, Brian, if you're watching. I call it Pandemic Elegy, and it goes out to anyone who's experienced hardship, loss, um, which I think to some degree at this point is probably most of us. And last thing I want to warn you before we start, there will probably be, as we turn over um, to the next uh, performer about a 30 second delay um, but that's kind of part of the process here so don't be alarmed if that happens here we go <clears throat> Thank 
Okay, so uh, now I'll hand things over, hopefully, seamlessly, to uh, Elizabeth and her husband, Simone. Everyone. My name is Elizabeth Adams and I play violin and viola. I am joined by my husband Simon Chavet on the piano and we have a, an interloper here. This is Irene. Uh, so it is possible that there may be a little bit of extra entertainment for you. Uh, we decided to play for you one of the um, viola da gamba sonatas by Bach. I decided that in this time of being home I wanted to explore some things that I wouldn't ordinarily get to do. And I knew these sonatas, but I'd never played any of them. Um, so we thought it would be fun to present something short that we hadn't done. So these are two movements of the first uh, viola da gamba sonata for Bach, transcribed for viola and piano. Enjoy. Thank you. 
name is Susanna, and I am going to be playing the first solo cello sonata by the Armenian composer Adam Kudoyan.
Hello, I'm Bernard. I'm Adina. We're going to play two pieces uh, at the conclusion here before the sextets. Uh, one is a piece that I wrote some years ago uh, for violin and viola, and I call it uh, Duel because, as my uh, Cassia uh, co players all know, they are always egging me to play faster and faster. So, this uh, piece is, is basically a competition to see who can play the fastest. Oh, sorry. And then the second piece is. Uh, the second movement from the Prokofiev Sonata for two violins, which is really a, a, an awesome piece. Thank you.
Thank you. 